Oh, yeah. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Rooster's Nest. My name is the Rooster. Every morning I am live here on Bigo and on YouTube to read to us all from this book called The Book of Awakening by Mark Nepo. And then we pull a card from this deck called The Nature of Infinite Love and Gratitude by Dr. Darren R. Weissman. And then I do something for us all, some sort of thing on Mondays. It's themed Menagerie Mondays, and I play some sort of musical instrument that I have in my collection, my menagerie of instruments. So that is the show, and that is what we're going to do today, although I forgot to share, so I'm going to just quickly do that while you all sit tight. My bad, my bad, should have done it already. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 doo, doo, boop, 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 doo, doo. He's here. He's live. All right. And then I did it. I shared it. And then I'm going to share it to my WhatsApp group as well. All right. Okay, now we're ready to go. So, hey, Paisley Powell, welcome to my lab. My name is The Rooster. Uh, this is my nest, and we're just about to read from this book. That's one thing that we do here is we read from a book together. It's a beautiful book with a beautiful insight for every day of the year. So we're going to find out what our message from Nepo is for today, November 1st. It's a brand new month. It's a new start. Here we go. Hello, Joy. November 1st, it says, the next moment of love. To allow oneself to be carried away by a multitude of conflicting concerns, to surrender to too many demands, to commitments oneself to too many projects to want to help everyone in everything is to succumb hi richard is to succumb to violence the frenzy of the activist neutralizes his or her work for peace wow i i experienced that firsthand myself trying to be uh, the best human I could be and commit myself to everything and try to save the world. Um, yeah, the frenzy of the activist neutralizes his or her work for peace. Thomas Merton said that. And now Nepo says, Merton wisely challenges us not just to slow down, but at the heart of it to accept our limitations. Hello, my friends. Welcome. We are at the best. We are at best filled with the divine, but we have only two hands and one heart. In a deep and subtle way, the want to do it all is, is good. It often comes it often becomes frenzied because our egos sees our goodness as a way to be revered. Ain't that motherfucking truth. I have done this many times, not wanting to say no, not wanting to miss an opportunity, not wanting to be seen as less than totally compassionate. But wherever I cannot bring my entire being, I am not there. It is like offering to bring too many cups of coffee through a crowd. I always spill something hot on some innocent along the way. Helen Luke speaks to all this when she talks of the trap of good works. She refers to those who take refuge from themselves in an unreflective pursuit of good, pouring all their energy into the redemption of society and other people while blind to their own personal darkness. Hi, Marvin the Martian. It seems the old adage is a place to start. Is that A-D-A-G-E? Adage? I don't even know that word. Know one thing and do it well. 
though I would offer it as do one thing at a time and do it entirely and it will lead you to the next moment of love. <sighs> Beautiful. Hello, welcome to my life. All right, so that was the passage, that was the message, and now it's time for the meditation. So if you all are ready, let's go ahead and, and get meditating. Get comfortable. Center yourself and think of the many kindnesses that you feel called to do. As you breathe, let your heart glow around one. Without thinking, pray for the others, but devote yourself today to the one. We only have two hands, one heart. Welcome back, RA. We just finished our Nepo passage. And now we're moving on to the cards. What's it gonna be today, baby? Yeah. Sorry, I just had to adjust this. What's it gonna be today? Yeah, what do we got today? Oh, what's it going to be today? Yeah, what do we got today? Oh, what's it going to be today? What you got for me today? Let's see. Oops, that one fell right out. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's it going to be today? Look at this. It's water. Water with one little leaf on it. And the water is reflecting the green of the trees all around it. And it says, flow. Flow! The more I practice owning my power, the better I am at moving with the flow of life. Number 20, which is two. The more I practice owning my power, the better I am at moving with the flow of life. Mm. Yes. Flow. Own your power. Go with the flow. It's, it's everything that we were told not to do. You know, that's the crazy thing about discovering ourselves and finding our path is we have to go against everything we were basically like formed into, especially if we're different types of people. Well, we are different types of people. But what I'm saying is we weren't taught to own our power, most of us as children, you know, growing up as ki kids are not, for the most part, they're not empowered. It's been that way for a long time. Maybe it's changing a bit now, but like, disempowered and shoved down a lot of us have been so we have to practice owning our power and going with the flow of our flow not anybody else's flow our own flow that was our uh, card for today yeah so that's the roosters show if you don't feel like uh watching a funny weird little drag king guy play a musical instrument now maybe not excellently uh then then the show's over for you but if you do want to watch this guy play on a funny little instrument and listen to me jibber jabber then stay tuned maybe i'll keep the maybe i'll still sit on a stool So I played clarinet 
in middle school and high school until grade until the end of grade 10. And then I didn't have enough time anymore because I was very busy with other extracurricular activities and doing my homework for all of the sciences because I was an academic um, that I had to drop band. And I pretty much didn't really pick it up very much at all over the last, how many years is that? But now I am. I'm starting to pick it up again, and I'm starting to play it for fun. And I really love it. I love the clarinet. I can't play it that great anymore. I used to be really good, but I'm not that great anymore. So I'm not a perfect kind of guy. Don't be a troll. If you don't like it, leave. If you want, you can try to guess uh, what film this is from, because it's from a film. And I'll give you a little hint it's an animated film that's all that, that's the only hint i'm going to give you and you have to try to guess what where it's from here we go Was my little ditty for today. And uh, if nobody has any guesses, no, no one. It's the name of the movie uh, has the name of a, a female name and something that animals make, that an animal makes. It is Charlotte's Web. It's from Charlotte's Web, the movie Charlotte's Web. That sweet, sweet movie, you know, with the spider and the pig and, and a, a friendship, like a dear, dear friendship between a freaking pig and a spider. How darling is that? Anyways, um, that's the show for today, everybody. Thanks for being here. My name is Rooster. I'm going to be live again at 9 a.m. tomorrow. Today, it was... A late show because uh, today's my one day off and it was Halloween last night. Hope y'all had a good Halloween, by the way. Um, Samhain as well. I had an excellent evening with a few friends. There, uh, We went to a cemetery where there was a bunch of um, different things like displays set up to honor the dead. And there was people playing musical instruments and there were people spinning fire. Uh, it was really cool. It was a really great evening um yeah so i hope you all had a good night as well and uh yeah i'll see you again tomorrow right we'll see you right here in the rooster's nest remember you can never fail if you never give up just keep going don't give up you gotta keep going number two everyone is someone so who are you go with the flow of your flow right own your power what was our Nepo insights again for today? Does anybody remember? Our Nepo insights for today were to, oh yeah, don't take on too much. You only have two hands, one heart. Okay, know your limitations. Reach for the stars, but know your limitations. It's all a balance. Number three, if you ever feel down, all you have to do is check out Ms. Cracker on Instagram, on her YouTube, you know, just, just go look at her. It'll make you happy. Or you can say, ur, 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 and the rooster 
will be with you. See y'all next time. Bye-bye.